after learning the conjugate of complex number and absolute value modulus value of complex number we are ready to learn some properties of modulus of complex number uh, you can say absolute value of complex number also absolute the first one is you know uh, the absolute value of any complex number is equals to the uh, same as you know is equals to the conjugate of the complex number also the absolute value of the conjugate of that also all right so uh, let's say uh, z is a complex number a plus ib then the absolute value of uh, absolute value of z will be uh, definitely the square of the real plus square of the imaginary uh, number that is b square all right similarly we know that the conjugate of this uh, z is bar z which is a plus no uh, the sign get changed a minus ib so now the absolute value of the conjugate of this z is also same the square of the real plus square of the imaginary and both uh, have the same uh, uh, real part and imaginary part just the difference is sign so here if you look uh, absolute value of z and absolute value of uh, bar z means conjugate of z is same so this is the first properties of the modulus of a complex number right now the second one is modulus value of any complex number will be zero only if and only if the complex number is itself zero a zero complex number right only this is the condition okay and the third property is, is absolute value of the product of the two conjugate number is equals to the individual product of the absolute value of those two complex number all right let's say you have two complex number z and w and if you multiply them if you do the product if you find the product of them and then you will find out the absolute value of that then that is same as that is equals to the individual absolute value the product of the individual absolute value of z and w all right let me give you an example let's say j, uh, z is here a plus ib just like in the previous videos and w is c plus id so what i'm gonna do now first i will find out the j times w okay so z times w uh, i will simply multiply a plus ib complex number with c plus id and that's going to be now ac uh, minus bd plus uh, a times d all right so it's i times ad plus uh, bc all right so this is the uh, multiplication of the two complex number and now i'm going to find out the absolute of this absolute value of this all right jw absolute value so it's just the square of the real part that is ac minus bd whole square and the square of the imaginary part all right that is ad plus bc all square okay so let's use uh, the formula a minus b whole square formula that is a square minus 2 a b plus b square all right we are now finished with this part the same formula we're going to use here but with the positive sign that is a plus b whole square formula here i mean this whole thing is working as a and this whole thing is working as a b so it it will be a square plus 2 a b plus b square that is b square c square all right these all guys are inside the root okay now i think few things are getting cancelled here 2 a c b d 2 a c b d all right this is plus and this is minus so we are left with now a square a square c square plus b square d square plus a square d square plus b square c square okay and in the next step uh here is a square c square and here is a square c square so i'm putting this those together a square c square and a square d square and i'll write these two at one place that is b square d square plus b square c square and now see the magic what is going to happen I'm going to take the common here a square from both sides so I'll get a square and in the bracket I'll get c square plus d square similarly from here I'm taking uh, b square common so I'll get b square common and that will be now c square d square or d square c square that same thing d square c square right and these all guys are inside the root now in the next step see both places we are having c square d square all right so it is a square plus b square and c square plus d square inside the root all right and further it is a square plus b square this is multiplication all right so it is inside the root and c square plus d square this is also inside the root and my dear friend what is this a square plus b square 
Look at here once. Under root a squared plus b squared. That's the absolute value of z. All right. So this is absolute value of z times now this is absolute value of w. So what did we prove here now? If you take a look properly. See here. The product of the two complex number and then we find out the absolute value of that. So absolute value of the product of the two complex number is equals to the product of the individual absolute value of those two complex number. All right. And now the next properties we need to understand is the absolute value of the ratio of the two complex number or say one complex number being divided by another complex number is equals to the ratio of the individual absolute value of those two complex number. All right. Uh, again, let's do. Let's find out Z over W. Z is here A plus IB and W is here C plus ID. So uh, I think you know this directly. You can write if you want, but I, I will do one by one. Right? It's A plus IB and it's C plus ID. Uh, it's I. All right? I is here iota, and I, I have to. Uh, multiply and divide by the negative of this I mean the conjugate of this so it is a minus id and c minus id not <laughs> i a all right so now it's simply the multiplication of two complex number in these two cases so this is going to be now ac minus bd plus i uh, ad my plus bc all right divided by now this is a plus b a minus b so it's going to be c square plus now c it's definitely d square and why did I write here plus though it should be minus because i times i it will be i square and that i square is having the value of sign minus one right here in the place of i square we used minus one you know uh, it is a plus b a minus b so it's i square d square so d square is here and i square is minus one so minus one turned this into the plus all right and further uh, and further it's going to be ac minus bd divided by c square d square plus i times ad plus bc divided by c square d square so this is uh, the j over w and now we're going to find out the absolute value of j over w that's going to be the inside the root the real part is square that is ac minus bd over c square d square complete square plus the imaginary part is square complete is square ad plus bc divided by c square plus d square the complete is square all right and now quickly let's uh, write the formula of those a square c square minus 2 ac b d plus b square d square uh, you know both in the both term if you see properly we have c square plus d square whole square c square plus d square whole square so what we we are going to do numerator we are doing uh, we are going to do c square d square complete whole square together we are taking uh, lcm here all right and then here also we can directly use the formula of uh, ad square so ad plus bc square so a square d square that is a square plus 2 ad bc plus b square c square all right and these all are inside the root so here you can cancel this and this and then you are left with a square c square and this is a square d square so for after this, after writing this, I'm writing this one. All right, so it is a square, d square. And again, here I have b square, d square. I write this, then I'll write this b square plus c square, right? It's b square plus c square. Okay, so further, sorry, divided by c square plus d square. Okay, and now uh, it is all inside the root. Okay. Uh, here, from here I can take the common a square so I'll be left with c square plus d square and again here I'll be left with uh, b square uh, and I, I mean I can take the common b square from both sides so I'll get c square plus d square I'm not writing d square plus c square because you know this we just did in the previous one c square d square all right so now further c square d square here also c square d square here also so uh, what we're getting c square plus d square we're getting, getting common and we're left with a square plus b square and divided by c square plus d square square this is this is whole square so this c square plus d square and one will get cancelled and then we are left with a square plus b square inside the root divided by c square plus d square inside the root and what is a square plus d b square inside the root that's absolute value of z and the denominator is the absolute value of w so we get what we need check it out z over w absolute value is equals to absolute value of uh, z divided by absolute value of w all right 
and the next uh, properties of the absolute value is when you multiply a complex number by the conjugate of that then that's equals to the square of the absolute value let me show you how it is all right let's say z and z bar uh, z is let's say a plus ib and the conjugate of that will be a minus ib definitely now this is just like the formula of a plus b a minus b all right so i'm just using formula a square uh, minus ib all square that is a square uh, i square will be that is plus so it's a square b square and i'm writing here a square plus b square inside the root whole square and what's that what is that that's actually absolute value of z because under root a square plus b square is absolute value of z and that's complete square all right and the sixth properties of the absolute value all, 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 all right here okay if you have any complex number let's say z uh, equals to a plus ib so its conjugate conjugate will be definitely a minus ib and its absolute value will be uh, a square plus b square inside the root so in this case the real part of the complex number z is a and what happens actually that the real part of any complex number is uh, always less than or equals to the absolute value or the moduli of the complex number all right how let me show you here this is this is you know a uh, real part of this and i said uh, this is less than or equals to the 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 a square plus b square you know why if you square both side now all right what you'll get you'll get a square is less than or equals to a square plus b square which is 100 percent true so definitely what you can say that a is less than or equals to a square plus b square inside the root it means the real part of the complex number z is less than or equals to the absolute value or the moduli of the uh, complex number all right similarly for the imaginary uh, part all right imaginary part of that complex number is always less than or equals to the absolute value of that uh, complex number all right in the same way i mean to say uh, b is always less than or equals to a square plus b square all right you know if, um, how it is if you if you square it you'll understand what exactly and how exactly it is so these were the few uh, uh, very basic and important properties of the moduli of a complex number or you say absolute value of a complex number please keep those all properties in mind because this is going to help you a lot of time